Hello, in this video I'll show you how to set up Android SDK on Ubuntu manually. First things first, we need Java. Uh, we'll be installing the Oracle JDK, but feel free to use OpenJDK if you prefer. If you happen to have multiple Java versions installed, and uh, this is my case, I previously installed the version 22. Uh, you can easily fix it by running the update alternatives. And choosing the correct one. Run it also for Java compiler. Okay. And you should see the correct version. The next step is to download uh, the Android SDK command line tools. These are essential for interacting with the SDK from the terminal. So go to this website, developerandroid.com slash studio, and scroll down until you see command line tools only and download and I want to unzip what I just downloaded okay and let's rather move it to command line tools that's not in downloads now to avoid the could not determine SDK root when running SDK manager I need to do a small configuration and that is move the command line tools to latest Okay, I know this makes no sense, but if I didn't move the command line tools uh, to this uh, directory path, if I were to run the SDK manager to install the API, I would get the error could not determine the SDK root. And uh, this is why. First off, it makes no sense that I need to run SDK manager and I need to be in that directory. I would like to export it to the environment variable and export to path so I can access any of these tools from anywhere. And for that reason, I create an Android home. Android Home, that's in Android SDK. Okay, and now I want to export the path. This SDK directory is 
not needed. Okay. So this is what I need to export. This is the Android Home and I need to export this to the path. Not sure if this is okay. Yeah, it is okay. And to propagate the changes, I need to run the source profile and let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. Now for the fun part, the final part needed to install the SDK, we use the SDK manager and we need the platform tools, platforms, Android 34 and build tools 3400. Uh, you don't need to install 34 if you don't want. I'll show you what else you can install when uh, this install ends. Now let's see what else we have installed in the Android SDK directory. Okay, we need to point to ADB. Just the platform tools. I believe I saw also the build tools. and propagate the changes with running source and validate the install with ADB version. Now that we confirmed the ADB version, uh, Android SDK is installed correctly, but I also wanted to show you that you can install other versions of Android API and you can see them by running SDK manager list. Uh, next what you might want is to install the AVD and run an emulator and to install a, a AVD you would need to download the system image. Let's use this one. And also, I need to add to the path emulator, so I can run emulator from anywhere. Let's go to the profile and add another path. I think this covers setting of the environment variables from for Android. Maybe one more. If you need to install the NDK, uh, it's the same same process. Okay. Emulator is correctly installed and I am listing the AVDs but none of them are 
currently created since I'm first in the process of downloading the system image. And we'll uh, create an AVD shortly. Okay. You will create an AVD by giving it a name and pointing to the system image. Oh, I forgot the command. Create AVD. Okay. Now let's see what the emulator says. And will the emulator run? Okay, this is my error. I'm running this in the virtual box and I have to enable hardware acceleration, so see you in a second. Okay, I am back. Uh, turns out on VirtualBox I can't or I don't know how to turn on the hardware acceleration. So I thought I have to use, for some reason I thought I have to use some older image that isn't 64-bit, but the simple solution is just to run emulator name of the AVD and in my case without hardware acceleration and this would start your emulator. Normally on your machine you will not use the virtual box and you would not need the uh, disable, you would not need to disable the hardware acceleration. Uh, that's it. This covers this tutorial for manual setting of Android SDK on Ubuntu. I hope it was useful. And if you like the video, uh, you can hit subscribe uh, to see more useful content from me. Uh, thanks guys.